Hello, welcome back to our series on metrics. In today's video, we will look at the reason for the steps that we follow in adding two matrices. Before we get into understanding why we do what we do, let's recap how do we add two metrics? What is the method involved in adding up two matrices? Now we are given here two matrices, matrix A and matrix B. Now we want to find out A plus B. So as per the previous video, what we do is we identify these corresponding elements and add them up together. So A plus B would be equal to A11 plus B11, which is 3 plus 2, 4 plus minus 1, 5 plus minus 1, and 6 plus 3. So this will give us 5, 3, 4, and 9. So this is the result of A plus B. Now, what is the meaning of this and why do we do this? Now, have a look at this example. Here, we have two matrices, matrix 1 and matrix 2. Each of these matrix gives us the number of boys and number of girls in classes 6, 7 and 8 for school 1 and school 2. Now, if somebody wants to find out how many boys and girls are there in each of these classes of 6th, 7th and 8th put together in both the schools. So, I want to know how many boys are there in 6th, 7th and 8th in school 1 and 2 and how many girls are there in classes 6th, 7th and 8th in school 1 and 2 put together. So, this obviously how would we do? We would want to know what are the number of boys is in class 6 in both the schools together which would essentially mean adding up the number of boys in class 6 in school 1 with adding the number of boys in class 6 in school 2. So if you add these two you will get 75 as the answer. Similarly number of girls in class 6 in school 1 and number of girls in class 6 in school 2 gives you 30 plus 25 55 boys in class 7 in school 1, boys in class 7 in school 2, add them up together, it gives 30 plus 40, 70, boys in class 8 in school 1, boys in class 8 in school 2, add them up together, you get 45, similarly, girls in class 7 in school 1 and girls in class 7 in school 2, Add them up, you get 25 plus 25, 50. Girls in class 8, school 1. Girls in class 8 of school 2. Add them up, you will get 30 plus 30, 60. So, this actually represents boys, girls in class 6, 7, and 8 of school. 1 and school 2. So essentially matrix addition means adding up the corresponding elements of each row or each of the matrices to arrive at the respective element. This is the meaning behind addition of two matrices. Keep watching MathSmart. Subscribe to MathSmart to know when we post a new video. In the next video we will learn about the matrix subtraction with some examples.